Hi, I am George Poulinat, in this video we will install LAMP stack on CentOS 7. LAMP stands for Linux Apache, MySQL and PHP. As a prerequisite we need to have CentOS 7 already installed. In the description of this video, I have a link to another video which will demonstrate how to install CentOS 7 on VMware. We will install Apache Web Server first, then we will do some initial configuration of Apache. Then we will install MySQL 5.7 Community Edition and perform some initial configuration on MySQL database. After that we will install PHP and PHP MyAdmin. PHP MyAdmin is used to administer your database using a web console. Every step that we will be doing is given in the description of this video. We will connect to our server using a terminal program like PuTTY. In the lower part of this screen I have all the commands that we will be using to install in a Notepad++ document. Before we begin installation. We will check couple of things. Make sure we have a valid host name and IP address. In the screen EN01677784 is my Ethernet card. As you can see my IP is 192.168.7.91. Also we check that I can resolve some public domain like google.com and ping a public server like 4.2.2.2. Once validated. We are ready to begin our installation. We will install packages using yum package manager. Yum install httpd will install our Apache web server. Yum will resolve dependencies and will ask you if you want to install httpd in the dependent packages. At the prompt you type y and hit enter. It will download necessary packages and will finish installation. Now, we will start our Apache web server using command systemctl start httpd. Then we will make sure that our web server starts at server reboot by issuing command systemctl enable httpd. Now, that we have our Apache web server up and running. We have to open HTTP port on firewall. This is done by issuing command firewall cmd space dash dash permanent space dash dash add service equals HTTP. Then we restart our firewall daemon. This is done by issuing systemctl restart. Firewall D. Now, let's connect to our web server using Google Chrome and validate our web server is working. To do that on the web browser type http colon slash slash 192.168.7.91 or whatever IP that you have, for your server, and hit enter. Voila. You have a Apache server up and running on a CentOS 7 operating system. Now we will install MySQL 5.7 Community Edition on our server. Before we start, make sure we have wget, which is a command line tool, which we will use to download things from internet. We will download MySQL Community Repository, which is available from http colon slash slash dev.mysql.com. Once downloaded, we use rpm-ivh to install the repository. Make sure the repository is installed correctly by ls-l forward slash etc forward slash yum dot repose dot d forward slash mysql dash community star and hit enter now install mysql server type yum install mysql dash server and hit enter this will first check for dependencies and will ask you is it okay to download and install MySQL server and the dependent packages? At the command prompt, type Y and hit enter. 
This will start downloading the packages. Then start installing. Once download is completed, you will have to validate GPG key by typing Y, and hit enter at command prompt. The install step will take couple of minutes. This depends on how fast your server is. Once installation is completed, we will start MySQL server. This is done by command, systemctl start mysqld. To stop mysql you can use systemctl stop mysqld. We will stop and then start MySQL to make sure everything comes up ok. To check the status of MySQL, we use the command, systemctl status mysqld. We can see that our MySQL is active and running. Also we see process ID, our MySQL daemon is running as. Now we will do some initial configurations. But, before starting that we need to find our temporary password. This can be found by issuing grep, in single quotes, temporary password, forward slash var, forward slash log, forward slash mysqld.log. Our temporary password is shown in the screen. We will start our initial configurations by typing command mysql under bar secure under bar installation and hit enter. This will ask for the password, where we will enter a password we got from the previous step. Then it will ask us to enter new password. Looks like my password is not complex enough. I will type a 10 character long password with capital letters numbers and special characters. Repeat the same password. Looks like it likes my password. So we will make the final change. There we type, Y and hit enter. Then we will remove anonymous users. Also, disable remote login to server as, root. Then we will remove all the test databases and reload privileges on tables. With this we are done with our MySQL post install configurations. Next, we will install PHP. To install PHP and its associated components we run the command yum install php php-mysql php-gd php-bear at the prompt we type, Y, and hit enter. This will download the packages and its dependencies and begin the install process. Now, we will validate that PHP is installed correctly. To do that, we create testphp.php file in the directory forward slash var, forward slash www, forward slash html, and add the following lines as shown in the screen. Once the file is saved, we will restart our Apache web server. This is done by issuing the command system ctl restart httpd. Now we open a web browser, then type in the web address of our newly created test php.php page. And hit enter. The page will give lot of system information. With this we conclude the php installation. Now we will start php myadmin installation. According to phpmyadmin.net, php myadmin is a free software tool written in php, intended to handle the administration of mysql over the web. php myadmin supports a wide range of operations on mysql and MariaDB like managing databases, tables, columns, relations, indexes, users, 
permissions, etc. First thing we have to do is install EPL repository from Fedora project.org. At the prompt type, Y and hit enter. Now we can start the installation of phpMyAdmin by typing yum install phpMyAdmin at the command prompt and hit enter. This will start the downloading and installation of phpMyAdmin and dependent components. We manually validate the GPG key by typing y and hit enter at the prompt. We can now perform the initial configurations of phpMyAdmin before we start using it. Open the phpMyAdmin.conf file, located at etc slash httpd slash conf.d in a text editor like vi. Then we will comment out the entire directory section, for user, share, phpMyAdmin, by inserting a hash, at the beginning of each line, Then add the lines as seen in the screen. Save and close the edited file. The second file we need to make some changes is config.inc.php located at etc slash php my admin. In this file we change or thunderbar type parameter from cookie to http. Once the changes are made, we will save the file. Then we will restart our Apache web server to reflect the changes. Now, open a web browser like Chrome. Type in the web address http colon slash slash server ip slash php my admin. Then hit enter. This will prompt for a username and a password. This will be the username and password of your MySQL database. My user is root, and I will type in the password. In the screen you can see I am logged into php my admin. Now you can administer your MySQL database with this. To summarize, we have installed Apache Web Server, MySQL Database, PHP and PHP MyAdmin on a CentOS 7 Linux server. This will be the foundation or prerequisite for installation and configuration of lot of other servers like Nagios or Isinger. Hope you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, to like this video.